How you guys doing? I'm Mike D. We're at X Fusion. Today we're going to be doing a travel adjust on an RL2 fork. This will be the same procedure for our velvet, our slant, our sweep, our trace, and the slide. To get started, you're going to need a work stand, an RL2 fork, 12 millimeter socket, 11 millimeter socket, pin spanner, ratchet, 1.5 Allen key, RL2 damper removal tool, uh, 40 cc's of seven and a half weight full synthetic for the oil bath, soft blow hammer, suspension pump, grease, alcohol, and lint free towels. Once you've got all that together, you're ready to go. All right, so first thing you're gonna do once you get your fork mounted, is you're gonna remove the air cap and depressurize it. We're gonna go ahead and check the user's air pressure setting, see where they were at. You wanna make sure that they're above the minimum 50 PSI recommended and below the maximum 150 in an RL2 fork. And we're at 75. Next step, we'll just depressurize. Then, Go ahead and remove your foot nut using the 1.5. Using the 11 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove the damper side foot nut. Use the 12 millimeter to remove the air side foot nut. Install your special damper removal tool. Give it a good whack. Got a good whack. Then make sure you've got an oil bucket below your fork so that your oil bath doesn't leak all over the floor. And go ahead and dump out the old oil. Once you got your guys' lower legs off, go ahead and use your pin spanner to find two opposed holes. Break the plate free and unthread it. Once you get it unthreaded, hold the air valve open on the top. Give it a nice even pull. And then go ahead and walk it over to the arbor press to push the pin out. Once you get over to the arbor press, you're gonna to wanna to figure out what hole you're at and what hole you need to be at. So for this fork, this is a 160, 140, 120, 100, and 80 millimeter position. We're gonna move it from the 120 location to the 140 location. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna set it in the arbor press and you're gonna to wanna to push the roll pin out about halfway, not pushing it all the way out. Once your roll pin has been pressed, move the travel stop up to the new hole. Using a guide pin, insert it from the back side. This will just make sure that your roll pin goes in straight. Then you can re-push the pin, making sure it's just inside flush with the travel stop so that it's not protruding from either side. Then put it back in your fork. Okay, so once you get back from the arbor press and you have your travel stop in the correct location, we're gonna go ahead and apply some grease to the main air seal and reinsert in the fork leg.
While you're doing this, if you hold your air valve open, it will ease an installation. Thread your base plate in. When you're tightening your base plate down, it goes to about 80 inch pounds or one audible pop. All right, once you got your base plate torqued into place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our lowers, go ahead and grease them. And once they're greased, go ahead and slip them on the upper assembly. You wanna make sure that these are going on nice and smooth and not rolling the seals underneath. Get them on about halfway and remove to install oil bath. On the RL2 forks, it is 15 cc's per leg. Go ahead and set the fork back in the stand. Go ahead and compress it to bottom. Release the air pressure from the damper leg. Okay. Using your velvet tool, pull the damper through the lower legs. Install the 12 millimeter foot nut on the air rod side. Install the 11 millimeter foot nut on the damper side. Both foot nuts will torque to 60 inch pounds. Wipe any excess oil out from away from the foot nut and install your rebound knob. Once you got your legs reinstalled, go ahead and reinflate to the rider's air pressure. Okay. We'll reinstall the air cap and clean the fork. Once you've got your fork cleaned up, go ahead and reset your user's rebound settings. And that's the travel adjust for an RL2 fork. Uh, thank you and please visit our website if you have any further questions.